Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. This is Raznak and we are here for another episode of Talking Tractors and as you can see in front of me we're going to be looking at some farm alls. This is actually a single pack. Um, I found this, uh, I've seen some posts on Facebook but it also looks like they've posted this to modhub.us and I will provide a link to both the Facebook page of the modder and to the mod itself on modhub.us. Uh, this is the Farmall 706806 um, by Landon W. or Crusader Modding. That was what was in the mod description. Um, a really, really nice pack. Um, pretty well done. I'm pretty sure this is a conversion, conversion slash edit because there are things that have been added, but I'm pretty sure this is a conversion from older, older games older versions of farm sim um let's see we can uh we'll just jump right into it we'll just take a look um we'll go through just a little bit of history real quick and then we'll actually look at the mod itself in store i dirtied this one up um so it does get dirty um i can't get these tires to get dirty this i don't know i have i need to try maybe those will I don't know, see, because there's different tire options, but those, these, these back ones, they don't get dirty. That's the 806, all dirtied up. And then I added wear. Uh, I wore like this one, 706. Um, I wore it all the way down, and um, but there's no scratches, scuffs, or any of that stuff. So there, that doesn't exist. But that's okay. It's all right. That's okay. Yeah, let's uh, let's talk about farm all. Um, some historical information. Uh, we'll take here a look here first at the 706. So the Farmall 706 uh, was built by International Harvester, um, and uh, from 1963 to 1967, um, Farmall had a few different names. There's McCormick Farmall, Farmall. There was McCormick Deering Farmall. Um, but as far as I can tell, these were actually all built by the International Harvester Company. All these, the, the 706. Um, and there's a couple different variations. There were farm alls, but you also could buy this tractor in an International Harvester. Um, the International Harvester came in a standard uh, setup instead of a row crop setup, because these are row crop, and or an industrial one. So there's actually... Uh, International 706 Industrial in Yellow, but I think is very rare, what I heard. Uh, original price in 1967 for the Farm All 706 was only $6,100, and it doesn't sound like a lot of money until you get the inflation calculator out, and we're looking at a today price in 2019 of $46,856.50. Forty cents. So, your papa's tractor was a fifty thousand dollar tractor. Contrary, uh, only sixty one hundred dollars back then. So we'll just keep on printing money. Let's keep doing that. Uh, the seven o six. There were forty six thousand one hundred and forty six of these built. Um, full. Full disclosure. Um, all my information I'm getting from tractordata.com for this, and um, but there were so many variations of this tractor, it was really hard to like nail down actual specifics. So most of this information I'm going to share is just kind of general information about them. Um, I know I'm sure the $6,100 price, I'm sure it changed based upon how the how the tractor was set up. Um, Yes, yeah, so many different options. Example, this came in either you can get a diesel engine, you can get a gas engine, or you can get a liquid propane LP gas engine um, for the 706 and for the 806. And I'm sure for a lot of other of the tractors from Farmall. Um, the tractor itself weighed anywhere from 7,000 to almost 9,200 pounds, again, depending upon configuration. The 706 was a 89 horsepower tractor, um, and the original 
engine in 1963, as far as I can tell, was an International Harvester 282 diesel. And then the diesel models later on actually was a German-built uh, 310 diesel that International Harvester used for their farm malls. Uh, it had a 8 forward, 4 reverse sliding gear transmission. The 706 came in a 4x2 or a four-wheel drive option. You could get the 706 in a four-wheel drive option. It came, again, in industrial. It came in high crop. Um, it also came in the tricycle front. These are wide front. But you actually could get a 706 in tricycle front. Um, of course, the weight is an option. This 806 here, we don't have the weight on. Um, so the weight was an option. You also could get front loaders. Um, this is IH2350. According to tractor data, it was an International Harvester 2000 front loader. Um, but again, I don't, I'm not exactly, not exactly sure. Um, let's see. What else? What else? So, uh, as for options, you could get uh, open or a cab was available for the 706. And starting in 1966, you could get air conditioning in the cab of the farm all. That was really cool. Uh, what else? What else was? Oh, so something really interesting I found about this in my research. We'll go around here to the back. And the back actually doesn't show it. But these 706s had a what was called a dual PTO. And you had one that was 540 RPM and the other PTO put out 1,000 RPM. And uh, and both the shafts turned while the tractor was in use, while the PTO was in use. I thought that was really cool, dual PTO. It also had some really cool transmission functions, um, which helped for working on hills, um, kind of some of the first, first of its kind. So, yeah, Farmall, Farmall was kind of the row crop tractor. And I'm pretty, in my reading, um, from 1940 to 1960, like the mid-1960s, uh, Farm All was the most popular row crop tractor uh, in the world. And it kind of defined what a row crop tractor is supposed to be. This is kind of, everyone else kind of went off of the, the design. And they actually... Uh, Again, in my reading of the history, International Harvester actually came up with the name Farmall. It was just going to be a designation, but they were afraid that, that someone else would steal it. So you would have like John Deere Farmall, or you would have other companies that called their version of this tractor the Farmall. So they actually created a brand name of Farmall so other people couldn't, st other companies couldn't steal that designation, which I thought was pretty cool. All right, so yeah, here we see different options in the mod. You got a 706, um, the flat. Uh, this one's got the uh, ROPS canopy. This one's got chrome exhaust with a canopy. We got one here with the front loader. Of course, we have duals here. Um, here is an 806 with plow duals, which I thought was really cool. It's one of the only tractors I've seen in 19 that actually has... The duels on one side for plowing. I thought that was a really, really cool feature of the mod. Awesome, awesome feature. Then we have this one all dirtied up, just the standard 806. Pretty cool. yep. um, so differences between a 706 and an 806, about 20 horsepower. The 806 was 110 horsepower. Uh, there were only 42,957 806s built, so about 4,000 less. Um, the tractor itself was pretty much you could get almost all the same features of a 706 but in my reading the 806 only came in the two-wheel drive I could be wrong and someone probably out there has a four-wheel drive 806 um, but according to the website the 806 only came in the two-wheel drive for the 706 you could get in a four-wheel drive and uh, other than that, the tractors are very, very similar, All both built from 1963 to 1967. It just seems like the 706 had a few more options and was a more, uh, was a more 
popular tractor, the 806. Uh, 806 had uh, a little bit more oomph and about another 20 extra horsepower. So I'll tell you what, what we'll do is let's go to the shop and we'll take a look at the mod in the shop. So you can see here, the Case Farmall 06 series. And we'll jump right in. Base price for this one, $6,800. So really cl close to the original price listed on tractordata.com. Now, as for options, there are many. You have flat top fenders, see here. We have round fenders, the ROPS, ROPS with the top, ICB cab, Hineker cab, and then back to the flat top fenders. Um, and then for exhaust, you have chrome or stock. You have again the 806 or 706. This one here says it was another 2850, so nine. So in today's money, you're looking at probably around 60,000, so another 10, 15,000 um, dollars in today's money to get another 20 horsepower. And according to the mod, back in uh, you know this one is 2850, so that's probably really close, I would say. So you have the two engine options. You can add a front loader. Now, I, the front loader is not detachable. Um, it either comes with it or it doesn't. You can't drop it off. Um, so you either have a tractor with it or you don't. And then the wheel options are many. You have a singles, single with weight, duels, duels with weight, plow duels. See? And then we have a Michelin rear. You have the Michelin branded tires, which I think those actually look nicer than the other ones. Uh, then you have the Michelin rear, and you're back to the singles. That is pretty much all the options. So I mean, you could go with, I mean, you could go with the Hinderker cab and the 806 with the chrome exhaust and a front loader, and let's put, uh, we'll put a Michelin rear on it. Yeah, really, really cool. All right, so let's go to the in-game functioning of the mod. So what we'll do is let's just jump in our front loader buddy here. And first things first, we will fire up the tractor. So let's hear what it sounds. And to do that, oh, saving content. Fire this up. So a nice sound. I've never seen a Farmall 806 in real life, so I do not know if this is what it sounds like. And you can see it does have the black smoke animation. It's a little more pronounced than the in-game ones, and it, uh, nice thing is, is it kind of moves as the tractor moves, but it doesn't, it doesn't go backwards, that's what I noticed. So as you're driving backwards, the smoke goes backwards. But if you're driving forward, the smoke goes forward. And I think that might be something just as a, you know, a setup for the mod itself. Uh, front loader works. Works. All right, so let's look at lights. We have, we don't have any working blinkers for that one. And the, we do have lights, but the lights on the vehicle do not come on. If you can look here. Those don't come on. Those don't come on. So, but you do have lights. They're just kind of magic. Again, this is a conversion. Um, and I think a, a very nice conversion. Way better than a lot of other conversions I've seen out. Um, kill the engine here. Got a nice little sound when you cut off. So in cab, you have uh, steering animation and fire it back up. You actually have a, the, I guess, um, I guess that would be a throttle lever, maybe. If you look, when you stop, the brake pedals depress down there, and then you have a working tachometer. So all that stuff works. I've hooked this to a couple implements and it hooks up just fine. 
The other neat feature is I like the hoses. It shows the hoses for the um, front loader. I thought those were pretty cool. Now let's go jump into one of the open cab options. Uh, that one had the chrome exhaust. This one has a standard exhaust. Now you can see the the flap is closed. When you fire it up, it is just open. Um, it's not animated in some of the mods where it bounces around. But again, that's just nitpicky stuff. Um, and like a lot of, you can see his, his leg move in there. You hit the brake. Now, like a lot of mods out there, the arms are kind of funny. And again, it's just, I don't think there's a whole lot they can do about that. I don't know. The arms are kind of, they, they do that little funny warping through each other, wrist breaking his wrist stuff. But that's not bad. I've seen worse things. Definitely seen worse things before. Uh, I think this does have a suspension. Here, let's go out in the field. Drive this around in the field real quick. Through the bushes! But if you watch, yep, see how the... 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 Uh, has the, the... the chair bounces. Not the chair, but the, the seat. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Now, I did notice, like, when you turn it real hard, it slows down. Which is, I think, actually a really good feature. Some people may not like it. But, I mean, I think in real life, if you crank this thing hard to the right and try to turn, you're going to have some slippage. And I like how, if you've noticed, the tires move at different speeds. So the one on the outside spins while the one on the inside is actually gripping. It's really cool. Neat feature. So you had to kind of consciously not overturn. Neat, neat tractor. Now, you can see these tires are getting dirty. Those are the Michelins. So the Michelins get dirty. We just, we just bared witness to the Michelins. The Michelin tires do get dirty where the standards don't. So, there you go. That's that. Alright, I think I've talked long enough <laughs> about this tractor. I wanted to show you guys the mod. I wanted to talk about the tractor a little bit. Um, just some fun stuff about it. Um, I, I love looking them up. I love looking at some of the history of this stuff and sharing it with all of you. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, this is the 706-806 by Crusader Modding or Landon W. That is what is in the mod description. Great mod, especially if you like some of this classic, this uh, classic iron stuff. Um, I think a wonderful conversion and edit. Definitely really appreciate all the work that modders do. Thank you guys so much. Um, for all the work you do and bringing this stuff to the game to make it way more enjoyable. If you play console, sorry, this is a PC only mod. And I'm sure someone's going to ask, and that's okay, I get it. But uh, this is a PC only mod as far as I know. Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I enjoyed making it. Um, let me know what you think about the mod in the comments. Again, Crusader Modding on Facebook, or you can find this on modhub.us. I will put links below in uh, the description. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Until next time, everybody stay safe. See you later. Bye.